so guys welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be talking about uh, delayed animations i've already done a basic video uh, i mean i've already done a video on uh, basics of animation that is how to get started with it and all the animation controller and all the other stuff the tweens and everything i've explained in that video kindly watch it once before watching this video uh, otherwise you might not understand since i am just going to dive in from where i left off in that previous video rather than uh, beginning it from uh, starting it from scratch so uh, yeah uh, that's the disclaimer out of the way and uh, this is where we left off in our previous video right in our animations video we just built a simple animation wherein we show a login form that flies in from the left of the screen to the middle of the screen that left of the screen doesn't matter if you just change it to one uh, i already changed it if i just change it to positive one then from the right of the screen to the middle of the screen right this is our original uh, code that we have so far now uh, what's a delayed animation let me show you first of all what i'm going to uh, show, what we are going to do in this video and then you'll understand what's that as well wow you saw that right you saw what happened uh, the first the login flew in and then after a little delay these two fields flew in and after a little delay this entire uh, the button and the uh, text in between flew in so this is a delayed animation offset and delayed animation okay this is one of the type of animations that we use that we come across in our uh, mobile applications that we use every day let's see how to uh, build this in uh, inside our flutter applications uh, this is to, to be honest this is pretty much simple guys you just need to uh, add a delay how would you add a delay you would need to add an interval okay using an interval you can add a delay if you had seen my uh, flutter charts video i made a video with uh, radial charts to show a stopwatch right there we used a delay in order to set the state of the application every one second so that the value of the chart gets updated similarly you are going to be using an interval here wait i'll show you i'll show you rather than just talking about it so uh, what i'm going to do is i have an animation controller and i have an animation right let's add one more animation or let's add a couple more so that uh, uh, you can have two components that are delayed so i'll just use a delayed uh, animation and a much delayed animation okay now i have three of them i just need to create two more like this i'll do a delayed sorry delayed animation equals tween once again begin similar to that curved animation inside this simply specify the parent the parent will be the same one animation controller uh, since we are chaining these two animations inside that same controller and uh, rather than using a curve i will use a uh, interval interval what i need to do here is i just need to specify two values right 0.5 and uh, 1.0 okay i'm introducing a small delay and i am specifying a curve as well curves dot uh, fast out slow in okay i here to i use fast out slow in so that there's uniformity then i'll add that in the same thing again only this time i'll do the much delayed animation here i'll simply start from point 8 okay so this is the animation that will run first and uh, there will be a small delay and this will start and there will be a small delay and this will start okay so uh, th since this starts from point 8 and ends at all the three ends end at the same time right so this will be like uh, how do i say this this will be very slow this will be somewhat faster compared to this this will be very fast compared to these two since all needs to end at the same time whereas all begins at different points of time right uh, different intervals of time rather right so how are we going to make use of these three inside our uh, 
container so rather than using a single transform what you can see do is split these split these into three transforms okay now i think you might have uh, gotten a gist of what i'm about to do here anyway i'll do it okay i have written the code here as you can see uh, i have simply split the code guys i am simply using an align and then inside that i am splitting the code into three transforms one is for the login at the top the this one is for the uh two text fields and this one is for all the buttons be beneath it okay uh here i am using the delayed animation dot value and here i am using the much delayed animation dot value so this one will start first since i am using animation dot value this one will start after this starts and this one will start after these two starts okay now you get it right uh yeah everything is done now let's try to run this and see what happens all right let's see how our app runs now wow that was really fast right that's because you just gave here as uh, where is it duration is 2 right if you just give it as uh, i don't know maybe 4 or 5 okay 5 seconds 5 seconds is too much you you people won't usually wait for 5 seconds until just to see the login screen but just for a demonstration purpose, let's just give it as 5 and see what happens. Wow, that was really good, right? First, this login flew in and these two fields flew in next and these buttons flew in uh, after that. So this is an offset and delayed animation. Each and every component that you animate inside your... And all these three were handled by the same animation controller, right? We created a delay between the animations using something called as an interval okay and we chained all these three animations to happen one after other one after the other right so this is how uh, you create an uh, create a delay in your animation guys to make it look more cool to make it look to make the appearance look more cool uh, and to make the ui come alive in your uh, end screen so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today we will talk about more animations there are masking animations there are transformation animations and uh, uh, a few other there are parallax animations and there are a lot of different stuff like this so we'll talk about uh, more of these in our forthcoming videos uh, hit like if you really like this video hit the thumbs up button guys so that youtube might pick up my video and uh, recommend it to outside of india as well and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to want to watch more cool stuff like this and uh, yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye